there are uh, in some certain regions let's say for example in amazon and many other uh, deep forests we can find certain poisonous frogs they are highly poisonous they contain uh, high toxic levels all right uh, in their poisonous glands all right dear yes, students anyway apart from this the other morphology i can tell you that above the mouth just above the mouth they have pairs of nostril a pair of nostrils all right these pair of nostrils help in in fact respiration process all right then further dear students eyes are bulged we can find that eyes are bulged and these eyes uh, also have the nictitating membrane nictitating membrane so what is the role of nictitating membrane all right see this nictitating membrane which is uh, you know present in the bulged eyes covering the bulged eyes helps uh, them to protect especially while in winter season all right in winter season it helps them again you know in protection and further dear students on either side of the eyes we have membranous tympanum all right either side of the eyes near the eye only on both the sides we have a membranous structure called as tympanum it is nothing but ear all right it is the ear so what is the role of uh, this uh, tympanum it receives the sound signals all right it has the ability to receive the sound signals but we do we can find the ear called tympanum but not the pinna pinna as we can find in the human beings pinna are absent with respect to frog all right so t here let me tell you what all we discussed the body of the frog is divided into head and trunk all right and neck and tail are absent then all right they both are absent then we can find on their uh, body always presence of mucus which uh, keeps their skin smooth and slippery the skin is thin and uh, it is always without scales the heart's exoskeletal structures are absent dorsal side of the body when see this if you consider the dorsal side of the body it is olive green in color and it has irregular dark spots whereas the ventral side does not have spots it is uniformly distributed pale color and generally the frog does not drink water it will be absorbed by the skin itself on the skin mucus glands and poisonous glands are situated which helps in the production of mucus and certain toxic substances just above the mouth there is presence of pair of nostrils and eyes are bulged right the eyes will have nictitating membrane which protects them during winter season for the eyes especially the either side of the eyes will have the ear called as tympanum they don't have the pinna next let us discuss about their fore limbs and hind limbs dear students they perform various roles now when we consider the fore limbs and hind limbs they help in swimming walking all right they help in swimming as well as walking and also they help us in leaping as well all right from one place to the other place they leap as well okay and they are also help in burrowing all right uh, we discuss about the winter sleep and the summer sleep that is estivation and uh, the hibernation we have discussed right so that's what they survive under the burrows if they need to make burrows what they need they need either the fore limbs or the hind limbs right so that's what these are the major you know functions of fore limbs and hind limbs that is they help in swimming walking leaping and burrowing the students when we consider hind limbs right uh, they end in five digits 
five digits we call you know five digits they have or generally we refer them to as toes all right then these uh, toes when we generally consider they are larger and much muscular than the four limbs okay see four limbs are uh, have generally the four digits all right which are referred to as fingers okay so remember just now i said when you consider the hind limbs they are much larger and muscular than the four limbs all right larger and muscular made up of uh, you know muscles more muscle mass can be present in the hind limbs than compared to the four limbs dear students further feet have webbed digits all right see webbed feet or webbed you know we generally say the feet have webbed digits all right the digits are joint you know each other all right so this helps in swimming in water see they are living in both water as well as on land right so to they when they are in water if they need to swim so the webbed feet uh, you know or the web webbed digits are essential further dear students frogs exhibit sexual dimorphism morphologically we can distinguish the male and the female so rather we can say the sexes are separate the male is separate and the female is separate all right that we generally because it, we are discussing morphology so we call that as sexual dimorphism which is an important part of morphology morphologically the sexes can be differentiated so sexes are here generally separate dear students apart from this male frogs can be distinguished by the presence of sound producing vocal cords or vocal sacs sorry vocal sacs are present where in the male frogs all right that is one aspect and also copulatory pad copulatory pad is present in the first digit of the four limb okay our first finger or finger or digit or because we are talking about four limb we can say finger or digit first digit of four limb we can find the copulatory pad as well as okay this is also present in male frogs right dear students so these are two you know what i can say morphologically you know uh, distinguishable you no know, aspects which we can find we can easily you know differentiate the male with that of the female so in females we don't have the copulatory pads all right as well as the vocal sacs as well differentiated as the male male frog they are generally absent okay so these are the important aspects pertaining to the morphology of frogs let me just uh, you know say what we have discussed four limbs hind limbs help in swimming walking leaping and burrowing and when we talk about hind limbs and the four limbs hind limbs have five digits four limbs are generally have four digits we can call toes or fingers okay the hind limbs are much larger and muscular than four limbs these you know limbs have webbed digits which help in swimming and the frogs show sexual dimorphism that means morphologically the sexes can be sexes can be differentiated all right and few of the important morphological you know aspects through which we can uh, easily distinguish male frogs with that of the female frogs is that vocal sacs and copulatory pads are generally present in the male frogs but absent in the female frogs all right and uh, anatomy when we consider the body cavity in the body cavity of frogs contain various organs uh, organ systems rather all right like digestive circulatory we have nervous system respiratory system excretory and reproductive system they are they you know they are very clearly you know uh, established inside the body cavity and they are well developed structures and they perform their roles in very different manners 